stratify market. I know it's markets for you guys and markets for us, but the stratified market. Can you explain exactly what that means? Stratified um, market. Yeah, ch check it out because I'm going to tell you what my thoughts of it is. My thoughts are, to me, when I looked at it, and, and I heard that term before, you know, going into purchasing a home, and I'm like, stratified, like, what, what does that mean? Wow, that's, that's new to me. But what it means is, <clears throat> it's neither a, buy, a, a seller's market or a buyer's market. It's in the middle. Okay. That is what it is. But I'll tell you now, we are in a seller's market and we have been for four to five years now. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. <laughs> okay. Because... There's no inventory. And I do talk to real estate agents in Youngstown and it's busy in Youngstown as well. They have multiple offers and no inventory. Columbus, Ohio is multiple offers, no inventory. Now, what I don't know what they're doing in Youngstown, but in Columbus, if you don't have money to, to, to pay over appraisal, you're not even getting a house. What does that mean, appraisal? Let me tell you. When you get a loan, the bank is only going to lend you money based on what the appraiser say it's worth. So oh. what he does, he looks at all the comps in the neighborhood and he goes on to say this house is worth this. Now it is an opinion, but it's a valued opinion. The banks hire the appraiser However, it is a part of your closing cost. You pay through it when you close on your house. It's about 400, three to 400, 500 up one time. So if the house, if you offer 250 on a house and it only appraises to 240, the bank is only going to give you the loan for 240. So when you have people who um, will say, well, they want over the amount because maybe the house needs a new roof or something like that, or even to furnish it. You can't go over that amount? No, no. Is that? Okay. But you can bid over for the house because the bank's only going to lend you whatever the price is at. But people are, we are in bid wars. I had a listing that had 33 offers. Okay. We had... 30,000 people bid over. There's one person bid 30,000. Okay. People came back and said, if it does not appraise, I will offer you up to $15,000 to cover the appraisal. Yeah. Oh. This is cash that they have to bring to the table. My seller took the took the offer that offers a 15,000 appraisal gap. Cause we knew we, we listed it for 185. We knew it was not going to appraise at 212 what they offered. There was no comps in the neighborhood that sold for that much. So we okay. knew that. So the appraisal gap is what helped them. They're closing on that house on Thursday. That seller, it ended up appraising at 202. Okay. They're gonna have to bring ten thousand to the table to pay for the, the extra appraisal cost. gap. Yes. So now the appraisal gap. So the appraisal gap is the money that they said it was appraised at. The appraisal gap is the cover that it didn't appraise at. Oh, okay. But that's what they that's what they listed it as. That's what the the people offered. Yes. 